What's going on everyone? This is the Player Report and I'm Dave Capon. Today we go over some of the craziest things that have happened in the NBA that you didn't know about. Pistol Pete, Steph Curry, Wilt Chamberlain, and Eric Spolstra's dad? You up to bat! Okay, so today we're going to go over five of the craziest stories that have happened in the history of basketball that you probably never heard of. First, Pistol Pete Maravich, one of the most lethal scorers in the history of the NBA. A five-time NBA All-Star, two-time All-NBA First Team, and he won a scoring title in 1977. But what most people know Pistol Pete for is averaging 44.5 points per game his senior year in college at LSU. What most people don't realize is that the three-point line had yet to be instituted at that point in time. One of his old coaches went back and did some digging and found out that if there had been a three-point line at the time, he would have averaged an astonishing 13 three-pointers made per game, bringing his total up to a 57 point per game average. Number two, most people who are plugged into the NBA today know exactly who Eric Spolstra is, the NBA champion winning coach of the Miami Heat. But his father, John Spolstra, was an NBA executive with the Portland Trailblazers in the 1980s, and he was known as a marketing genius. This led the Indiana Pacers to essentially sell their soul in one of the worst slash, I guess, best trades in NBA history. The Pacers gave up their two-time all-star point guard, Don Boosie, in return for Players? Draft picks? Money? None of the above. The Pacers got one week of consulting services from John Spolster in return. Can you imagine how this conversation would have went? Can you tell us a little bit about the trade you made today? Yeah, we know Don, great player, all-star point guard. Um, but now was the time. We had to make the move. Yeah, so what player did you get in return? No, we're not getting any players. Okay, so what draft pick then? No, and we're not getting any draft picks either. Oh, so you traded him for monetary compensation? No, nope, not getting any money. So how do you feel like this is going to help your ball club? Yeah, so we actually traded Don for one week of marketing consultation from uh, John Spolstra. So you feel like one of your competitors in the NBA is going to share their secrets with you? Yeah, you know, we feel pretty confident that John's going to come over and act in our best interest and give us all his you know, tips and tricks about how to run an organization. So, should really propel us forward. You hearing this? Okay, that's it. You guys good? Okay, thanks. How do these people get their jobs? There's a reason why teams are at the bottom of the NBA consistently. Number three. The 1961-62 NBA season produced an MVP race for the ages, but one player stood out. Elgin Baylor had an insane season, averaging 38 points, 18 rebounds, and almost five assists per game. And he didn't win the award. And the reason for that is because the big O, Oscar Robertson, became the first player in NBA history to average a triple-double over the course of an entire season. Insane, unheard of at the time. And he didn't win the award. But there's a reason for that. One of the greatest centers our game has ever seen, Wilt Chamberlain, averaged a gaudy 50 points and 25 rebounds per game over the course of an entire season. Unheard of. And he didn't win the award. That's because the NBA felt compelled to give the award to Bill Russell of the Boston Celtics, who averaged a very nice 19 points and 24 rebounds per game. But come on, I'm not salty. Cannot believe Wilt didn't win that award. Number four. Speaking of Wilt Chamberlain, did you know that Steph Curry makes more than Wilt made in his entire career in just six games? Hey Steph, when you come on my show someday, you're paying for your flight here. Number five. One of the strangest games in the history of the NBA. In November of 1978, the New Jersey Nets and Philadelphia 76ers squared off. The 76ers would go on to win that game, but the New Jersey Nets later would dispute it and the NBA agreed to replay the final 17 minutes of that game later in the season in March of 1979. Unheard of, 
but stranger yet, between November and March, three players that appeared in that game were traded amongst the two teams. This resulted in three players playing for two different teams in the same game. In fact, the NBA player named Eric Money actually scored points for both teams in that game. And a fun fact for you, this was Phil Jackson's coaching debut. At that time, he was a player slash assistant coach for the New Jersey Nets. The Nets coach was ejected of the game and Phil had to step in and resume the head coaching duties for the game. And he also scored four points. The Zen master making his coaching debut. So that wraps up some wild and interesting facts about the NBA. I appreciate you tuning in to another episode here at The Player Report. It means the world to me. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe already, please go ahead and do so down below. Also, if you can hit the like button. If you can comment on the video's thread, that means a lot. These are some of the activities that YouTube looks at. It helps drive up the exposure that the channel gets. And so I, I really appreciate your time. I know I'm not entitled to it. Thanks for supporting your boy. And my question for you is what type of NBA video do you want me to make next? Peace.